What's Guido coming at you with the Tactics Talk, guys? Welcome back, and welcome back to me. I'm back from Tank Fest. We talked about it on Sunday. We'll talk about it a few more times and a couple more coffee talks, but played some games on Sunday to kind of get back into it. And as you know, if you have a long layoff, oftentimes things don't quite go as well as you'd like. So the videos you've watched for the last two weeks were videos that I had banked for a while to make sure I had coverage for the time I was gone. You'll have one more tomorrow, but this is the new content. And I figured as I was playing on Sunday and getting crushed that this is actually a decent, miserable Monday experience right here. We can talk about though and maybe learn some things, probably learning stuff we theoretically already know. So I'm bottom tier. Great. That's a miserable Monday thing right there. Pretty good tank. T832. I like this thing quite a bit. Getting close to the Hunter Battle Challenge, finishing this thing. What we're going to talk about here is bad deployments, bad teams. What do you do? What don't you do? And mostly through observing what my team does as an example of what not to do and to include me potentially not potentially, definitely doing things that you may not want to do. And it's difficult in this game. I'm going to talk about what I should have done. And I think you guys are all going to uh, kind of appreciate it and have been in the same spot. But we can take a look at an actual situation here and how we might have been able to do that a little bit better. So here we go. Off to the races. And I'm going to head into town. So I'm on, uh, what, Highway Himmelsdorf? Himmels? Himmels Highway Dorf? Going to head into the town. Now watch the deployment, also watch the chat, uh, something about he doesn't like being bottom tier, the Mivi says, don't worry, you're a light, I'm going to chip in here as well. They said your problem's not the higher tiers, it's the ELC, because check it out, they have an ELC, and we have an LTTB. Now that's a tr tough row to hoe for the LTTB, wasn't a particularly good player. Although I don't think the ELC of a 90 was very good either, but the ELC 90 just has a really huge advantage against things like the LTTB, even if it's semi-competently played, even if it's accidentally semi-competently played. But I just want to pause here and just drink in the goodness of this deployment, fellas. Drink in the goodness. A lot of fellers going to hang out here. Yep. So that's our 268-5. We have a char footer and an LTTB myself. At least the T95 and the Super are coming this way. And for whatever reason the 50B YOLO's on his own. The deployment matters. Try to get your tank into the purple places and do purple things. Go to the right spot for your tank but pay attention to what's going on in the game probably a little bit better than me. I'm gonna say worst problem is the 50B. So you have a couple of decisions to make right here and now we have some good SA that the 125, their 703, the Kron, the IS-32. They sent people to the to the town, fellas. We're not sending enough to the town. I should know this right now. Although with the Super and the T-95, maybe we get some things done. But right off the bat, I'm already getting a bad vibe about going to town. And honestly, in the game, I actually had that bad vibe. But I thought, well, I'll get into town, see if I can get some da damage off these guys. I see the Kron making a significant move, so I'm thinking maybe he'll just poke around this corner try to do the autoloader thing. Unfortunately, he's just smart enough to stop, turn, and start and start side scraping. Disappears on me. And just not quite. Maybe I could have waited another potato, but I think I would have ate a shot coming back. So the Super and the T95 come up. I'm still not jazzed about this situation, guys. But I'm really, I'm really thinking to myself now, self, I probably need to get out of here sooner than later. Let's see how I execute that. I, the thought was in my brain, especially when I see what's going on up in the northwest, nothing good. We're down in AMX 50B, and guess what? Our light tank's dead. And to be honest, guys, this is why I kind of wanted to talk about this a little bit. Miserable Monday experience. We're in big trouble already. All right, you go, well, it's only two tanks. Certainly, they could make mistakes. We could chip them away a little bit. Maybe they rush across, and the two scorpions and the leopard do some damage to them. But we're, we're in a hurting status already right here. So you've got to sort of shift gears. For me right now, I'm in the gear of, I'm a good player. I'm going to try to make something happen in the city. I'll get 3,000 damage, 4,000 damage. Maybe I can turn this thing around. The likelihood of that, though, based on what I'm seeing here, the tank I'm in, the tiering I'm at, the armor I'm dealing with in terms of the enemy tank is very low. All right? Possible, not very probable. So try to avoid doing that stuff. What can we do here? Not a whole bunch, I don't think, to, to maybe win the game. 
sure, I've said it before, your, your team could start wielding them away and that's what you want to try to do, but you need to put yourself in the position where you can do that. And pretty quickly here, I'm going to get swarmed in the town. I can already see this. So I'm just hanging out here. I knocked that down just so I have a nice shot. But just pay attention to this. We're all sitting here at 1G. We can kind of look at the replay and go, what should we do? We down another tank. Obviously, the Scorpion G just died up on the on the hill right there, fellas. Right? Where do you think that ELC is? He's down here. So whatever these guys thought they were going to do in terms of taking out dudes pushing is not happening. They're in huge... We actually get spotted here. Maybe got a little greedy, but he doesn't die. But you know this. I know this. You know this. You're watching this. They have an ELC, even 90 left. We just lost the Scorpion. We have nothing really in the town that can handle what they have. We lost our 50B fall back, right? Uh, my best plan is to go back to about here, maybe even all the way to use the, the hold down spot here. And really, I should be switching into damage farming mode. And maybe damage farming mode is enough to start turning the tide, maybe not. But I probably get more damage than I'm about to get. And really, miserable Monday action is, is happening right now because I'm putting myself in a square corner, there goes our other Scorpion G. There's the ELC, even 90. Putting myself in a square corner that's going to be very difficult to get out of. This tank is not super fast. I'm starting to think about it. I do still have the Super and the T95 over there. Object 268, hanging out in the back back there. And the enemy team's doing a really nice job of not just YOLOing. And now we've just lost everybody in the back and the collapse is on miserable Monday all the way I should have bailed out of this much faster so watch what happens because the enemy team sees this right they know their guys are pushing up onto the backfield they really haven't seen too many tanks in the town they're beating up they just killed the t95 the supers overextended and I'm making a runner see all this happening I see the t95 coming in and I'm thinking, well, I'm going to get a cheeky shot on this guy because he's just going to come around the corner. Let's see if we can go ahead and get a shot here. Okay, great. And dodge right. Excellent. Okay. But I really wish I was further back, fellas. I really wish I was already up on the hill. Watch this. I am going to eat a shot from the Grillet. Thumps me for over 700. I'm going to come in here looking for a shot. I have no idea that the grill is there. We're going to bounce. No, I'm sorry. We just get another 300 off of that guy. Grill slaps me for 764. I'm trying to get away. Another hit from the Kron. They're all over us on the other side. I can't get away from the WZ and get massacred. So 600 damage on a couple, three, four shots. Absolute romple stomp all the way around miserable Monday material. But I think an instructive one, guys, for looking at it and going, look, I see it happening. There's nothing I can do about an AMX 50B going up there alone and dying. There's nothing I can do about a tier 10 and a tier 9 heavy just hanging out over here. Although I think that's the tier 8. Sorry, that's the tier 8 right there. You know, we just we didn't have enough tanks in any place. We lost our scout. Then we have an ELC. And that's all. That crap happens all the time in this game. The question is what you do with it, right? So what could I have done better? I think fall back earlier, maybe go over here, get hold down, although we're starting to lose guys here as well. So who knows if I don't get shot in the back there. But I think if I'd have got out there, out of there a little bit earlier, been a little more defensive, I might have got another shot or two in, guys. Right? Bring it up to 1,000 damage, 1,200, 1,500, maybe something like that. But miserable Monday all around. Miserable Monday all around. I got some damage out of it. I think I could have done a little bit more if I'd have got back. The other option was to get more forward and attempt to do side scraping and all that good stuff. But remember your tiering. Bottom tier heavy. I went where I was needed. I just didn't have anybody really helping me. Good on the Super and the T95 for attempting to get in there, but they kind of got worked over. And the enemy team just sent their tanks where they needed to be. We didn't. And there you go. Miserable Monday, fellas. I am back. Tomorrow will be the last one of the pre-baked videos and like I s I've said before if you got anything to send me go ahead and do so remember that there's a new patch I won't know until tomorrow when the new patch hits I guess it's today whether the rest of my replays are broken or not we'll wait and see it's a smaller patch but I don't know we'll have to find out that's all I've got for today have a great Monday we will see ya